Hold up. Yo, what is going on you guys? I'm Flapart, it's Orkert, and welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I wanted to show you guys how you guys can unlock the new RVN Assault Rifle and UDM Handgun without a Seasons Pass, but by now, a lot of you guys already know how to do it. It's very straightforward if you guys go and check it for yourselves, and the information I tell you guys in this video is information that's already public, and I'm sure that there are tons of people who've already covered this already, or you guys can just check it for yourself on the Weapon Selection screen and in the Supply Drop section for the Quartermaster, but for those of you who may have taken a break from IW for a while, don't know that there were new weapons that came into this game, or anyone who really hasn't checked anything about these weapons that were released on Infinite Warfare, you've come to the right place. Now simply enough, after you've loaded up your game, you can head over to your created class menu, pick a class slot, and go to your primary weapons, and then scroll down to the bottom of your assault rifles right after the Vulk, and you'll see the RVN. And now if you're like me, and you already have a Seasons Pass, this will be readily available available for you to play with, but for those of you that don't have a Seasons Pass, your RVN will be locked and you'll have to work for it. Now this here is the RVN Assault Rifle 2 round burst, which is kind of weird for an assault rifle, it's usually about 3 round or fully auto. It's an auto fire weapon, energy rifle, and it splits into two weapons like the Type 2 Assault Rifle, except it splits into a pair of melee weapons, sort of like boxing gloves from Black Ops 3, and it does kill enemies in one shot. Now this gun is unlocked via challenges or supply drops and to unlock the base RVN assault rifle you need to kill 200 enemies with an energy based assault rifle so the wreck the type 2 or the Valk will do that is equipped with an accessory earned through weapon prestiging which is pretty easy to do but now if we head over to our secondary weapon we can scroll to the bottom of our handguns and the UDM will be waiting now in terms of the UDM it's not unlocked for season pass holders like it is for the RVN so even us the season pass holders will have to work to unlock this weapon as well. Now this here is the UDM handgun, slow fire rate, high damage and stronger at long range and this gun is unlocked via challenges or supply drops as well. And to unlock the base UDM handgun, you need to kill 200 enemies with pistols with an optic equipped and an accessory earned through weapon prestige. The challenge is very similar to that of the RVN challenge, however, you don't need to use an energy pistol, but you do need to have an optic on your pistol instead, and also have that weapon accessory on your handgun of choice. But luckily enough for me, I've been prestiging all my weapons to max weapon prestige, so that's not going to be a problem, but for those of you that don't, weapon prestige, just weapon prestige once and you'll unlock a weapon accessory for prestiging your weapon, slap it on there, you're gonna be able to get this done pretty easily. Now doing these challenges for the RVN and the UDM handgun is very easy, it's fast, and it's the best way to unlock these weapons. However, if you get any variant on the weapon in a supply drop, whether it's a common, a rare, a legendary, or an epic, it will automatically unlock the base version of these weapons. So if you have some extra COD points to spare, some extra keys you can spend, you can open up some supply drops with they're common or rare and give yourself a chance to unlock a variant of the RVN assault rifle or the UDM handgun and if you are lucky enough to get some sort of variant you'll basically be getting two weapons for the price of that one drop the base version of your weapon as well as the new weapon variant you guys managed to unlock now here's the reason that I emphasize the line if you are lucky enough to unlock some sort of variant the reason I said it like that is because unfortunately if you guys go to the prototype lab to check the variants for the RVN in the assault rifles and the UDM in the handguns there aren't any shown this means that you guys cannot actually craft any RVN or UDM variants and just bypass the challenges by doing so or open supply drops whichever way you decide you want to unlock these weapons now if you go to the mark 2 collection they will have them there which is great unlocking a mark 2 variant of these two brand new weapons would be fantastic however with the supply drops containing all the other weapons in the regular prototype lab plus everything in the mark 2 collection plus everything in the quartermaster collection and the fact that there are only four variants of each weapon going from common mark 2 to epic mark 2 it'll be even harder to obtain now you'll also be wondering if the prototype lab doesn't have the regular weapon variants of both the RVN and the UDM where are they and those weapon variants are in the quartermaster collection now if you guys can remember from the patch update a bunch of weapons were removed from the quartermaster collection and were moved 
into the prototype lab instead where you can now craft the weapon you want. This includes the epic Reaver Machete, the epic Vault Corruption, the legendary E-Red Destiny, and the rare DMR Binary. But with that, they've added all the variants of the RVN and the UDM in the Quartermaster Collection where the drop rate for those weapons there seem to be slightly harder to obtain from a supply drop than some of the things that you can see in the Mark II Collection as well. So with that said, how are you guys going to unlock your RVN Assault Rifle and the UDM Pistol in Infinite Warfare? Are you guys going to be doing the challenges of killing 200 enemies with energy weapons or pistols equipped with optics and weapon prestige accessories for both and relax with just the base weapon? Or are you guys going to be hunting for them in supply drops to unlock two birds with one stone? Let me know down in the comments below. But personally guys, I'd say if you guys are already going to unlock your camos for your weapons or maybe you guys just picked up the game or whatever it is, you might as well well, just unlock these weapons through doing the challenges as it is obviously the best way to go about it it's the fastest way it's the easiest way of course if you're super lucky you can get it in one second by opening a supply drop but if even if you didn't get a weapon variant of the rvn and the udm now you'll eventually get one down the line whether it's a common variant or an epic variant or even a mark II variant but that's gonna be about it for this video thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed it remember to drop a like and if you guys haven't already consider subscribing because if you don't you're gonna be missing out on awesome videos like this and i will be uploading some gameplay of of using the RVN and the UDM and try to unlock myself some new variants if I'm lucky enough to unlock them via supply drop. So either way, make sure you guys subscribe. You don't want to miss out on that. Thank you guys again for watching and I will catch you guys next time. So later days and peace out.